Oh, it's our every other time except for like one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start the whole process. So <laughs> you mean two minutes ago you started on <laughs> yeah. just... priority live. Stole my line, brother. Yeah. And... Just and, and and this is where we don't know. Like sometimes it'll say the live button, sometimes it doesn't. <sighs> we just we get a we get a little thing from uh don't learn from the past. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. Let me uh, turn on focus for an hour. Uh, so, you guys got any plans for your long weekend? Mm, nothing much. Huh? Yeah, no, I, I do. Um, have you ever seen the movie Dexter, the, the series? Yes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's just. <laughs> It's supposed to be uh, wanna, so i think we might be live so you might not want to finish that sentence no no i'm just kidding uh, i was thinking about using that on, on. <laughs> yeah no just it's supposed to be hot here in new jersey in the like the 90s so i'm gonna try to find some water we'll see how that goes fair enough oh. um let me see if you are live we, robert we, i think we're live it says custom live streaming service live let me ask maureen like we always do um we're live yes we are live hi everybody um the usual ramblings here trying to figure out whether or not we're live um oh. welcome to another iba friday uh, i'm here with my buddy javid javid how are you i'm good how are you all hey robert hey mike hello we've got, yeah we've got a special guest today so we got mike engel mike tell us who you are and what you do here yeah so um i'm mike from new jersey i'm co-founder here at one cosmos uh, official title is chief strategy officer, which means I do whatever it is that's not being done at the time. Um, but mo focusing on our go to market strategy and all that stuff. And uh, super excited to be here with, with or without an IPA. Yeah. Uh, so this is your first uh, IPA, IBA Friday. Uh, it's usually just Javid and I rambling on about things, but today we're going to be little bit more structured because we've got the co-founder we've got to be on our best behavior nervous. And, 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 and exactly i know right we got a pressure be good. so uh what we want to talk about today was the fido 2 announcement that happened back on on password day may 5th i don't understand why we're celebrating passwords but whatever um so the on that day uh apple google microsoft announced that they've committed to supporting a passwordless sign-in across mobile, desktop, and browser platforms um, over the next coming year or two. So to you, Mike, um, you know, being um, you're kind of an expert in this area, what, what, I know it's kind of a loaded question, but what, what does that mean specifically? Yeah, well, first of all, putting out password day on May 5th is completely wrong. It's Cinco de Mayo, right? Mm -hmm. And now I don't know whether to go get a margarita or try to go passwordless. It's That's just, true. it's not right. Um, they uh, could have done May the 4th is taken, right? May the 4th. Is right. so I guess they're out of days. Yeah, maybe. Um, maybe. <laughs> but I think stepping back, you know, some people haven't heard of FIDO besides, you know, the name for common dogs. That's true. Um, what it stands for is Fast Identity Online. It's a nonprofit that was formed in the early 2010s, I believe 2013. A bunch of tech companies came together to figure out how to get rid of passwords. So it stands for Fast Identity Online. And um, if you have usernames and passwords involved, that's one of the key tenets of our company is that that means you don't have identity. So it's very near and dear to us. The goal of FIDO is to get rid of passwords. And um, it's been evolving over the past, going on 10 years, and it's getting starting to get popular. And the challenge with FIDO has always been you set it up in one place, but then you can't go use it somewhere else. So this announcement on Cinco de Mayo was <laughs> that um, now you, soon, um, they're, they're, it's in process, but you'll be able to use your FIDO in multiple places after you set it up one time. So that's very exciting. Imagine walking up to any website and logging in without a password because you set it up three weeks ago anywhere. Interesting. So, I mean, the, the way we kind of do that or the way they are kind of handling that, not, not kind of, the way they're doing a passwordless, even though they're using passwords uh, for users not to remember is that you can either store them in the browser or you could use maybe a password manager or something like that. But what this is doing is something completely different, right? So you're going to be able to use a device or something on your laptop or system to be able to authenticate. Do you have maybe an example sure. of what that looks like? Yeah, all the above. So um, 
if you're if there's a password involved and that's password managers and i love password managers i have over 1200 passwords in my password vault so i mm-hmm. i counted them the other day because i i exported them and just wanted to verify they were all there <laughs> um they're great because now you have at least a, a master level of security but they are there's still a password under the hood what what mm-hmm. fido does is is uses public private key cryptography instead of a password so it creates a secret and gives you a safe way to secure that secret that is not susceptible to somebody getting or man in the middling or intercepting. Okay. Um, so yeah, now you can set up a, a kind of a secret on your local machine. I can show you what that looks like here, you know, out in the wild on a website sure. and, uh, and not have a username and password at all. So imagine if there just wasn't one, then it would be easier for you and harder for the bad guys. Fair enough. So when you just quick question, when you downloaded those 1200 passwords, um, when they're all the same, does it matter? Oh yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you that's the same the one over and over again. You yeah. you know it. I know it. <laughs> it's human nature, right? And 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 just putting a one, two, three, four at the end when they make yeah. it change. It Question is, why was it thinking about passwords on Cinco de Mayo? <laughs> that, that's that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Is he alone? I'm just kidding. <laughs> exactly. All right. So uh, so I think you 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 had an example. Do you do you want to share your screen or something to show show us what? How yeah, it, yeah. So, so I pulled this up. Um, one of my favorite first adopters of of uh, Fido password list is eBay. Anybody who has an eBay account, I think anybody uh, can log in and do this. So, what happened here is I just authenticated into eBay using my username, password, and and uh, so you know maybe a two FA was enabled, and it pops up and says, "Would you like to go passwordless?" This is a Fido presentation or their implementation of Fido. When you say yes, it's reaching out to your local device, iPhone, Android, Windows, Mac, or the you know, kind of the main ones, and saying, I'd like to use your biometrics. So you'll see here, check this out. Here is my Windows hello popping up. You don't normally see this when you log into your average website. Mm-hmm. So it's setting up a secret now between eBay and this local machine that can't be intercepted by somebody. The next time I come to eBay, I simply just click sign in with my fingerprint and I'm in. And that's a really cool experience, right? You can see why that could get mass adoption if it were done right. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so that, to me, Javid, um, sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. um, have we not been doing that for a while, guys? Tell me, tell me a little bit about, uh, it sounds like that's kind of what we've been doing for the last three plus four years. Yeah, no? absolutely. Like our focus has been interoperability, right? For such a long time. So FIDO is just one of the things um, to associate, to, 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 to go passwordless. But I guess this whole idea, since this is an IBA, is to inject identity into the mix, right? FIDO, FIDO is never an identity spec by any sort, but I guess our push has always been, it's you are the same person everywhere, but is your experience still is it a compatible experience you know across platforms devices security keys platform authenticators my goodness um you know biometrics so that, that's the journey we've been on at least right, as, a, as a background right mike that's right yeah what's what's missing from this process is a strong identity under the hood mm-hmm. and that is one thing we make very easy for for organizations to do with their users so and the Fido Alliance is working on that too. So we're, we're working with them to help in those um, identity-based authentication um, yeah. aspects as well. Yeah. Um, so at the end of the day, what, 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 what it looks like is where the market is going is kind of where we've already been kind of pioneering, um, although we're going to inject identity and things like that. But at the end of the day, it sounds like passwords are finally coming to an end. No. <laughs> yes, by 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 next May fifth on the next Cinco de Mayo, that's it. No more passwords. That's it, no more password days. It'll the beginning be, it'll of the be, end, uh, Robert. It's the beginning password, of the end. Password remembrance day or password <laughs> uh, memorial? Yeah, say, memorial. I don't know. Burial. How... Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. That's funny. <laughs> don't use passwords and acronyms anymore. <laughs> you gotta remember those then. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. Well, listen. That's that's great, Mike. I I appreciate you coming in and just kind of quickly talking about. Uh, the FIDO announcement and, and how that works and what that looks like and, um, you know, what that means to, you know, users going forward. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you know, while we've already kind of been doing this, what this does is it kind of brings 
I don't want to say credibility, but but it it builds an awareness in terms of what we've already kind of discovered uh, or have been uh, have been have been talking about over the last little bit, and and brings it to the masses <clears throat> to some degree, right? Yeah, yes. that's part of the yeah. Please go, go job. Oh, this is fully rehearsed. Right, part cool. of the conversation has to be the developer experience for this, Robert. Right? We yeah. keep talking about hey, you can log into a website, you know, you can touch ID, face ID, and you're in. But developers want to bring that experience to their to their end users as well mm -hmm. across different app platforms, right? The website is not the only property you'll ever go to to, go, to access a service. Yep. Potentially, you'd be accessing that that service from an app. So I think this is where the one Cosmos push towards really, really wrapping a developer friendly journey around Fido is really important as well, right? Exposing those APIs, yep. initialize once, use any time, and try out the end user journey before you even write one line of code. Mm -hmm. I think is you know worthy of mention the yeah. DevX interface. That's right, yeah, because because we've talked about DevX a couple of times now. You're, so it, it, you're going to make me do it, aren't you? You're going to make <laughs> yes, <me do> <laughs> yes, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, what what Javid's team has done is really amazing. Is they make Fido super easy um, for a developer to implement on any website. And so you see here, it's as simple as a demonstration right here out in the wild is register a Fido device and then use it just like you saw me doing in production on eBay. So, uh, I mean, under the hood, um, you know, all the developer stuff is there for, for people to consume. And because a Fido server, I don't know a whole lot of details about the underlying, how you make a server. I know the mechanics and the cryptography, but is not that easy. Um, so we make it really easy. Is that a fair statement, Java? Yeah, absolutely. And right over here, this is a demo trial ready experience. You could literally provide a username, you know, whatever, JDO, set up a platform authenticator if you're hooked up. If this is from a laptop, which does offer uh, some sort of a touch ID interface, you can register live right here. And the, the, uh, the address bar there gives you uh, our in production demo site, which you can, yeah. any, any viewer can go do that right now. Once you're registered, you can enter the same username to trial that end-to-end -end flow literally right from this page, right? And the idea is that all of the documentation attached to the DevX portal that we have describes to you what APIs you need, how do you initialize them, and just take you through the whole journey. It's pretty cool. Awesome. And that's at developer.onecosmos.com, right? Yes. That's right. All right, guys. That's another IBA Friday. Mike. Thank you for coming. This is Thanks, your Mike. first. It certainly won't be your last. I promise you that. All right. Uh, but we appreciate you coming and taking the time with us today. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Have Thanks, a good everybody. Week. Have a great weekend, everybody, and enjoy those IPAs. You too. Take Bye -bye. care. See you next week. Bye. Not bad. Mm -hmm.